welcome everybody. I just want to give a real quick shout out to Chomp in the chat, coming in strong with the Mitch Hedberg quotes, keeping me entertained while I set this up. It's good stuff, Chomp. This one too. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello, you guys. Today is actually Friday, which means that I guess today is vlog day. Today is vlog day just this week, Friday. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again. I can't do that thing where I put all the timestamps up here for anybody watching on the replay. Um, but there will be timestamps. There will be timestamps. I haven't seen Jeremy V in the chat yet, but my main man, Jeremy V, usually gets the timestamps. If he doesn't get the timestamps, I'll get the timestamps. There will be timestamps in the first pinned comment of first pinned comment of the week. What am I talking about? First pinned comment underneath this here video, but welcome, welcome. We got a full vlog this week. We're gonna be tasting some beer. In fact, let me say this right out of the gate. This live stream is intended for adults only. There's going to be alcohol. There's going to be beer. Some of the products I'm using do contain nicotine. There's going to be some obscenities. This is not intended for anybody underage. This is for adults only. It is for educational and informational purposes only. I just feel like I have to say that because I feel like YouTube is literally just breathing over my shoulder right now, watching everything that I do. It's insane, this feeling that I have. But welcome. Like I said, we got some beer. We're gonna be talking about what I've been vaping. We got a retro vape that I need to re-wick. We have a very random liquid tasting. We're gonna be, I think, starting off this vlog talking about some news and advocacy. Jerome Adams, our new, uh, our newest Surgeon General, the Doctor of America, has released a new report on smoking cessation, as well as a consumer guide on smoking cessation and actually quitting cigarettes. And we're gonna see what, is, what does Jerome have to say about quitting cigarettes? What does Dr. Jerome Adams have to say about quitting cigarettes on behalf of the doctor of America? We're going to talk about quitting cigarettes. Uh, should be good. Should be a fun vlog. Uh, we're going to do the super chats at the end of every segment. If there are any super chats, that's no pressure to, to just jump in there and give some super chats, but we do them at the end of every segment. I guess we'll start with this one here from Logan Exhales. Hashtag let's do the damn thing. And I just want to say, me starting this stream coincided perfectly with, uh, who said it, uh, Vape Level Midnight said, I'm here, let's do the damn thing. So I said, well, Vape Level Midnight's here, let's do the damn thing. Let's just, boom, stream, let's just do the damn stream. Um, but the very first thing that I want to do tonight, and I don't remember if we have heard from Dawn before, I thought we had heard from Dawn before and I legitimately can't remember. And even if we've heard from Dawn before, I'd like to hear from Dawn again. I stole this video from a shop's face, Facebook, Instagram. I don't even remember the name of the shop. I, that is a tear, I should, I'm, that's, okay. That's really my bad. If you're watching this and this is your shop or you recognize this shop, just shout it out in the chat so I can so I can give the give the shop proper credit because we got to give love to the vape shops. We have to give love to the vape shops, okay? So right now, I want to do that thing that's my new favorite thing where I hear from one of my subscribers, although I'm not entirely sure that Dawn is one of my subscribers, but she's a vapor, so she's family. Let's hear from Dawn. Hi, my name is Donna, and I'm 74 years old. Now I started smoking cigarettes when I was 14. 
finally quit when I was just nine years ago. And I started vaping, uh, haven't looked back, quit coughing. Uh, I like the flavors. And if it hadn't have been for vaping, I would still be smoking. I had tried everything. I had tried the patches, the gum, hypnotism, Chantex, nothing worked until I started vaping. So I sure hope it isn't banned. I just love that at the very end. Well, I sure hope it doesn't get banned. What a polite way. What a polite way to say that. I sure hope it doesn't get banned. Meanwhile, there's legions of vapors on, on Twitter just, you know, just going insane and yelling and like we're all fired up and Dawn's just very, well, I sure hope it doesn't get banned. 74 years old. She started smoking when she was 14. Very much like me, dude. I started smoking when I was 13 years old. She tried everything, gums, patches, shantics, hypnotism, hypnotism. I feel like you're scraping the bottom of the anti-smoking barrel when you resort to hypnotism. But that's the thing. People want to quit and they will try things to quit. Jerome Adams points that out in this new consumer guide for smoking cessation, his new Surgeon General report. He says things like that. 70, he says something like 70% of smokers have a desire to quit. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, if anybody else out there has any videos, maybe similar to Don's, if you just want to shoot the shit, show off your gear, shout people out, tell your story, tell your anti, you know, tell your smoking story, tell your switching story. I'd love to hear from you. You can send me over a quick video shot on your smartphone. Okay, boomer. Shot on your smartphone. You can send it over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark the subject. That one thing. I'll see it. I'll save it. It might get featured here on the, uh, might get featured here on the vlog. So awesome. Thank you, Don. And I mean, honestly, it's, it's people like Don that, that have tried everything and then they finally found vaping the way that we found vaping and it was just it was just so so easy and effortless i mean not easy easy compared to lots of other ways to quit smoking don't we're going to get all into this i don't want to go quite off on a rant just yet i've got plenty of rants saved for Jerome Adams, for that report, for the CDC, for, for lots of stuff, for Secretary Azar. I don't, I don't quite know what's going on there either. But uh, the first thing, the very first thing I want to do before we jump into some really juicy news and advocacy is I need something to, uh, to fuel me, I guess, right? Fuel me. Let's, dr let's have a beer. Let's do a very random beer tasting. I don't know why I said very random. Doesn't make any sense. It's not very random. It's not very random at all. It was completely meticulously picked out just for tonight. First things first, I got a, a freshly rinsed uh, pint glass. Just says fuck yeah on it. Want to remind everybody that this stream is strictly for adults. We're doing adult things and talking about adult politics and adult vices and nicotine and alcohol and just being an adult. And this is for adults. And the beer that we have tonight, which I believe came from Stan Tenacious TX Vapes. He's kind of like my default. If I don't know quite where a beer came from, I think I might have got that from Stan because Stan sent me a bunch of beer not too long ago and I'm still working my way through it. Unfortunately, I'm a terrible person with a bad memory, so I didn't like even, you know, Ruby was like, why don't you just write on there with a Sharpie? And I was like, yeah, I mean, that would have been a smart thing to do, but unfortunately, I, I didn't think of it. But we're going to be tasting Saloon Door. I think we've had this beer on the vlog before. Ridiculous Aff. Peanut butter, chocolate, Russian imperial stout. Dang, does that sound just like everything you want in a beer? I mean, peanut butter and chocolate, man, I love being an adult and I love flavors. <laughs> I love chocolate beer. Anyway, we're gonna be pouring this into my fuck yeah, fuck yeah pint glass. It pours, I mean, look at the color of this beer. That is 
in that is space without stars that is black as night even the head on it look at that head on that beer that is a dark dark head on there and if i do say so myself i feel like dang that's like the perfect pour right there get a peer, get a beer nefarion get a beer get a beer and join us again this is a heavy duty beer it's been a heavy duty day i've been reading a lot of heavy duty articles a lot of heavy duty surgeon general reports which if you've read as yoda said about the sacred jedi texts what Je what he said about the jedi texts page turners they are not so we got this we got a stout cheers this is for you guys thanks guys for coming out on a friday night mm. holy crap that's incredible that is unbelievable it's 11.8 percent so might get a little bit yeah we'll see how it goes peanut butter chocolate stout the, the peanut butter right out of the gate is immense peanut butter really reminds me of the belching beaver brewery they have a peanut butter stout this peanut butter is like peanut butter up your face hole i wish i had some peanut butter e-liquid i wish i had some pb party some deep cuts pb party to pair with this what i am going to pair with it i think i feel like some boule bolu might get might go okay with this right you did a blue moon all right welcome I love a good blue moon. Did you slice a, 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 an orange wedge on there? That's how you have to drink a blue moon, man, with some citrus. But I got some uh, Boule Bolu here in my topside light goat combo. This is just something I've been vaping. I, I've, I've been having a really great time with this. I kind of love swapping it back and forth between a single battery and a squonker. I take this off, I put on a K-Fun, and I switch it back, and I'll use it with my K-Fun. And then when I'll take my K-Fun off, put my goat on, snap this back on, and I'm back to squonking with my dead goat. I just, uh, I kind of love this thing. I'm probably going to be doing a video for this uh, next week, early, early next week. But it's loaded up with boule bolu. We're going to have some peanut butter, chocolate, banana, boule bolu. I don't know. Could, could be good. Could be terrible. That's why we do these. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Holy crap, that's awesome. Holy crap, this beer is amazing. This beer is ridiculous as fuck. In fact, I think we've had this on the vlog before, and I think I gushed about it in a very, very similar way before. It This is crazy. The chocolate, the peanut butter flavor, the chocolate flavor, flavor right out of the gate is just intense and sweet and beautiful. It's got a very, very thick, thick, heavy, imperial-ish, although imperial, I guess, really relates more to the ABV of it. But it's got that stouty, sort of heavy mouthfeel. I, I can still taste it in my mouth right now. And I drank it like a minute ago. I can still taste it in my mouth. I want more. Put it in my mouth. Holy crap. I cannot get over how beer, good this beer is. Can't get over how beer this good is. Just can't get over it. Can't get over it. Can't get under it. Let's do some more Boule Bolu. That, that's an incredible pairing. This is an incredible beer. And all I'm thinking about right now is Beecher, who's hopefully watching the vlog. My good buddy, Coil Turd, he's going to come visit me uh, in March. Uh, him and his wife are coming up. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a great time. I have another one of these beers, and I want Beecher to taste it. <laughs> I want him to pair Bole Bolu with this beer and see if he likes it as much as I do. That was you're the first person I thought of, Beecher. I was like, Beecher needs to taste this. It's ridiculous. Aff. God damn, that's good. <coughs> Burp life. God damn, that's good. <sighs> hey, Cherry from Taiwan. Welcome. Welcome to the vlog. You know, and I feel bad because Regwatch is here. Is Regwatch here? Regwatch goes on at four, and I didn't know that. I didn't realize until last week that Regwatch goes on at four, and now I feel guilty for taking some of his time slot. 
Do you, if you go past 4.30, I apologize. I, I didn't know that anybody else streamed on Thursdays. I just, I'm, I don't, I hate cutting into other streams. That's, I just don't want, I just don't want to do that. So on a scale of Boosh to Boosh 5,000, what do you rate it? <laughs> well, you listen to me, Jeremy Clark. Yo, yo, to you, by the way. I rate this at a Boosh level, Boosh level 3,000. Yeah, this is a Boosh level 3,000 beer if I've ever had one. Boosh level 3000. All right. Well, now that we got some beer, we should turn our attention right now, right at the top of the program. I, th I feel like we should directly turn our attention to, uh, to Dr. Jerome, Dr. Jerome Adams. News and advocacy. News and advocacy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really uh, <sighs> need to stop burping. That's very unbecoming. That's very unbecoming of you, young man. I really need a new news and advocacy bumper, and I just don't have the time to make one. Dwayne needs a new bumper. I need a new adv news and advocacy bumper. If anybody feels like tackling that, just I'll just throw that out there. You know, I'll, I'll give you my personal thank you, fist bump, whatever you want. I'll send you some some liquid or a care package of some sort. I just need a new slick news and advocacy bumper because that one is it's cobbled together and it's not it's part of a bigger video. And I just, it got weird. So news and advocacy. So here's what happened. Um, not in 20 years has the Surgeon General released anything about smoking cessation. Not in 20 years, I believe. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. Not in 20 years. So this is the first Surgeon General's report on smoking, the first Surgeon General's report on smoking cessation in the last 20 years. So he's got a lot to go over. I mean, think about how much the landscape of tobacco control has changed over the last 20 years. Think about how much, you know, the technology of vaping has has come in and been an intrusive thing. I don't know why I'm doing the praying hands. It just feels natural right now. Think about the vaping technology that has come in and how even in the last 10 years, how vaping technology has just grown by leaps and bounds and become more and more effective and more and more helpful for currently addicted adult smokers. In this, in this paper, we're, and we're going to be talking only about the consumer guidance. There's two papers involved here. There's the Surgeon General's report, which I'll be linking to here. Let me try to find it. Here, here's the full report. Nope. Uh, well, this is the CDC website, which I don't trust the CDC as far as I can throw them right now, which isn't very far. I'm, I'm legitimately worried about this new virus outbreak because I don't believe that the CDC will be able to handle it effectively or communicate it effectively to the United States public. Hopefully they don't handle this viral outbreak the same way that they handled the lung injuries. Hopefully, in order to save people's lives, hopefully they don't handle it the same way. But this is directly from the CDC website and you can, it has links to the full report the, the full report, but what we're going to be going over today is the consumer guide. This is the one that Jerome Adams, the Surgeon General, and the CDC have intended for the general public to sort of take and use and read and see. Quitting smoking, what do you need to know? He says, smokers want to quit, so they. this is how you do it. You, you read the Surgeon General quitting smoking thing, or, I mean, look, if you want to quit smoking, here's my advice. Get on Yelp, find your nearest vape shop, drive there, talk to the man behind the counter, and walk out with a vape. And there's a an, an, an insanely high chance that you will quit smoking. I mean, I I can't say outright, but there's an insanely high chance that you will quit smoking. I'm gonna be using my iPad to be uh, to be perusing this. And like I said, I read this in its entirety on my lunch break today in its entirety on my lunch break today. Safari? Nope, go away. Whoa, the chat came up on here. That's kind of fascinating. So here's what we're gonna be reading. This is, this is the document. Quitting smoking. All you need to know. Everything you need to know. It actually says what you need to know about quitting smoking, okay? And the majority of this report 
focuses solely on the health benefits of quitting combustible tobacco cigarettes. It's really what he focuses on. He talks about things like it'll, it'll start reversing your COPD, which vaping has also proven to do. He talks about lung cancer and emphysema and laryngeal cancer and strokes and, you know, every horrible thing that we know about smoking. He talks about by quitting, you can avoid it. So there's not much substance there. There's nothing, there's not a whole lot new in this. There's not a whole lot new in this that people didn't already know. People know that if you quit smoking, yeah, Oh, no shit. If I quit smoking, my chance of lung cancer goes down. Thank you, Doctor of America. I I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware. Maybe some people aren't aware. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. I don't mean any disrespect to Jerome Adams. And right out of the gate, let me just say, I believe Jerome Adams is a good dude. I believe he genuinely wants what is best for America. I, I think he's going to be a fine Doctor of America if we can get it into his head that harm reduction is a critical part of this discussion and it's not just prohibition or abstinence, it's not just quit or die, it's not just use our products to quit, it's let's reduce the harm. And I feel like this shouldn't be that foreign of a concept to Jerome Adams, but constantly throughout this, it seems like it. And constantly on Twitter, it seems like it. And it's a little bit infuriating. Truly and honestly, it's a little bit infuriating. So, as I said, uh, it's been 20 years since the Surgeon General has done something like this. And it's not a long report. It's not a long thing. It's about 20 pages long. It's no big deal. And basically, he spends, like I said, he spends the whole time sort of talking about the health benefits of quitting smoking, which are very widely known. He spends the majority of this as well just trashing smoking, as he should trashing smoking, just just trashing it, leading cause of preventable death in the United States. Talks about over things that we know, things that we've been spouting off on Twitter for months and months and months and months and months. Leading cause of preventable death in the United States, 480,000 people dead every year from tobacco cigarette smoking. 34 million Americans still smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes. That's insane. And he says that adults that smoke want to quit. They have a desire to quit. And vaping is the only product I've ever come across in my entire life talking to anybody, any of my subscribers, any vapors anywhere. And people always have the same story. Ah, tried everything, right? Just like Dawn, tried everything. Gums, didn't work. Patches, didn't work. Chantix, you want to talk about Chantix? We're going to talk about the side effects of Chantix. That, that is ridiculous. He mentions it in here, but really interestingly, he doesn't call it Chantix. It's almost like, it's almost like Chantix has become a bad word in the realm of tobacco control and public health. People are very skeptical of that word Chantix. Oh, I heard that causes suicide. Well, you're not wrong. He doesn't even call it Chantix in here. Man, that beer is good. Vaping is the only product I've ever seen or ever come across. I've talked to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that have, quote unquote, accidentally quit smoking with vaping. Accidentally quit smoking. I've talked to people who were were diehard smokers and they may have picked up a kit and then they just kept using it with no real intention of quitting cigarettes It was just a natural progression and they accidentally quit cigarettes. Vaping is the only product where you can accidentally quit smoking. Accidentally, accidentally quit smoking. He goes over lots of the smoking related illnesses. I mean, it's it's really a scare thing. 480,000 Americans die every year from combustible tobacco cigarettes. 50 people died this year from black market, vitamin A, vitamin E, acetate, contaminated, adulterated, drug dealer sold, black market THC cartridges, 50. And it was a national news story. It was a pandemic. Everybody was concerned. Every governor of every state was concerned. Where's the governor's concern over the 
tens of thousands of their citizens that are going to die this year from tobacco-related illnesses, from combustible tobacco-related illnesses. 16 million Americans live with a serious disease caused by smoking. 16 million Americans. Smoking-related illnesses continue to cost the nation more than $300 billion every year. Every year. He's got a lot of good stuff in here. Unfortunately, he's got a lot of smarmy, not smarmy, smarmy's not the right word, poorly, how do I even say this? Poorly worded, poorly communicated jargon and words. He, he constantly is equating vaping with smoking. Constantly. Constantly relates vaping and smoking. He says tobacco products, including e-cigarettes, right? Everyone should avoid tobacco products, including e-cigarettes. He always includes the e-cigarettes as if to kind of make the association in your head that vaping, e-cigarettes, and smoking are about the same. You know, obviously they're not. And unfortunately, huge swaths of Americans right now believe that that e-cigarettes are just as bad, if not worse for you, than smoking combustible tobacco cigarettes. Is my video too dark? Is my video too dark? Give me one second. I don't like I don't like this right now. I don't like what this is looking, and I was in the middle of a rant, and it looks like I'm standing in a closet. So Make one quick little adjustment right there. I feel like that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. That's pretty good. All right. What, what do you have to say? I quit smoking in 2011 with vaping. I had my R, RRST and Kronos still vaping to this day, and things are good. Yeah. Vaping can reverse COPD. Vaping is twice as effective as any NRT on the market, and it's the only product where people quit smoking accidentally. It's it, it's unbelievable to me that he only dedicates, and we'll get to this in one second, but he only dedicates three little paragraphs to e-cigarettes. Three little paragraphs to this miracle technology, this miracle for smokers. This miracle technology, three little paragraphs, spends lots of time, lots of time on everything else, lots of time on everything else. And he constantly, like I said, equating vaping with tobacco, with smoking by saying all tobacco products. He uses just this umbrella term, tobacco products. They all carry the same level of risk when in reality, obviously they don't because snus is considered a tobacco product, right? But it was recently, I think it was General Snus or Swedish Match was granted, uh, a, uh, I can't remember what they call it. It was, it was granted something, a modified risk claim. They can make a modified risk claim now. General Swedish Match Snus in the United States can now say it's less harmful than smoking cigarettes and less harmful than chewing tobacco. And all you need to do to verify that is look at the cancer and smoking rates in the European Union, places like Sweden and Norway, where everybody uses snus. They have some of the lowest cancer rates in the world. In the world. Snus has displaced smoking in a lot of those countries. Doesn't take a rocket surgeon to, to see those numbers. He talks about how... I don't know why he goes all the way back to 1964, but he talks about how in 1964, 43% of the United States was smoking. 43% of the United States was smoking. Fast forward to 2018, only 14% of the United States is smoking. Still millions and millions and millions of people, but that is a drastic change from 1964. Drastic change from 1964. Of course, all of the credit... <coughs> All of the credit goes to everything else besides vaping. Oh, strict tobacco control policies, higher taxes on things, smoking cessation education, NRTs and gums and patches and chantix. That gets all of the credit. Meanwhile, vaping, which again, people can accidentally quit smoking by switching to vaping, gets, gets none of the credit. That's obscene to me. 
That's insane to me. So when we get down here, there's a lot of, uh, see, health benefits of smoking, read all this, show, lowers your risk of heart disease, of course, lowers your risk of stroke. I just went to a cardiologist not too long ago. I had an echocardiogram. I had something else done. Good, except for my high blood pressure. My heart's fine. Haven't been smoking for a decade. Heart's fine. Lowers my risk of heart disease. Lowers my risk of heart attack. Lowers my risk of stroke. All of that came from accidentally quitting smoking by switching to vaping. Talks about how it makes your breathing easier. It protects against cancers, laryngeal cancer, uh, liver cancer, lung cancer, mouth and throat cancer. So then we get down here to tools and resources to quit smoking. Tools and resources to quit smoking. The first one, counseling. Counseling. Counseling? I'm sure it will work for a lot of people. Again, quitting smoking or getting away from tobacco is not a one size fits all thing, man. It just isn't. Vaping doesn't work for everybody. It works for a lot of people, but it doesn't work for everybody. Vaping is not a one size fits all. It will definitely work for you. Some people might need counseling. Some people might use an ICOS. Some people might do whatever. As long as you're getting away from cigarettes, I don't care how you do it. I wish that was the stance of the Surgeon General. I wish that was the stance of the CDC, but it's not. Because if they want you to quit smoking and, and they'll, they'll point their finger in your face and, and Jerome Adams will do the same thing. Point his finger and say, quitting smoking today greatly reduces your chance of getting all of this nonsense with your body. All of these horrible things like COPD, emphysema, and lung cancer. But if you're gonna quit, quit with quit our way quit use this fit yourself inside this tiny little box and quit with something that we approve of quit with something that we approve of what about vaping oh that's not proven that's not fda approved saying that saying that it's not fda approved therefore the results of it are illegitimate is insanity to me and when it does become fda approved Watch how the stories turn. Watch how great vaping will be finally when it becomes FDA approved. Maybe finally when Bloomberg gets his hail vapor product out there, then everyone's gonna start singing a different tune. Oh, vaping, twice as effective as NRTs. And we're all gonna go, yeah, we were talking about that in 2019, you dense motherfuckers. Sorry. <sighs> Blood pressure, down. Rage sweat, present. Okay. Right after counseling, tools and resources to quit smoking, the first thing he mentions is medications. NRTs, NRTs and medications. They want you to quit, but they want you to quit their way. They want you to quit using these unsuccessful, mostly unsuccessful, low success rate products. The success rate for NRT products is not high. It's very, very low. There's lots of reports out there that you'll see where it says, oh, NRTs increased uh, smoking you know, cessation by 35%. That's not, even, that's not even an accurate number. 35% is the most generous thing you could give an NRT for quitting smoking. It is substantially lower than that. And I'll, you know, look, all this information is out there. I'll try to track it down. I'll put it in the description. Sorry I'm getting so fired up. This is just a thing and I wanted to talk about it right out of the gate. The next thing he mentions, uh, varanisline, varanisline, var varlenosine, varlenosine, a prescription medication. Listen to this. Listen to this description of varsenoline, a prescription medication that works by interfering with nicotine receptors in the brain. It reduces nicotine withdrawal symptoms, including cravings, while also blocking the effects of nicotine on nicotine receptors, thereby diminishing the reward effect of cigarettes. So it kind of kills your addiction that way, and it keeps your brain from releasing any endorphins when you get that nicotine into your system. Also known as that's right, also known as Chantix, do, 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 do. Now, hang on, where did my, uh, let's talk about the side effects of Chantix. These are things, these are things that you will never see on a vapor product. 
forever. Chantix is associated with and is believed to cause neuropsychiatric injuries. Quitting smoking with Chantix is basically choosing. It's like spinning the wheel, except there's only two options on there. It's either smoke cigarettes and get lung cancer or take Chantix and possibly honestly go crazy and have neuropsychiatric injuries. Neuropsychiatric injuries? And this is what they're telling people to quit smoking with? When we have these on the product, these products on the market, when we have products where people accidentally quit smoking by using them, we're recommending Chantix, neuropsychiatric injuries characterized by dramatic behavioral changes. I uploaded a video from one of my Yo Yo patrons, Thomas Crow. Uh, this was a few months ago. It's somewhere on my Instagram, and he just basically tells his quit smoking story, like why I vape. He talks about Chantix and how it affected him. The most dangerous side effect linked to Chantix are suicide, suicide ideation, and psychotic behavior neuropsychiatric injuries and this is what the doctor of america jerome adams is recommending to quit smoking and not the twice as effective vapor products that people can accidentally quit smoking with you're recommending chantix and i think it's weird jerome adams that in this report you don't call it chantix why not use its marketed name? Why call it the why call it var, varicelline? How do you even say this? Varenis varenisline. Varenisline? I don't know. That's a question for Jerome Adams. I don't know why he would recommend something that would cause neuropsychiatric injuries, suicide ideation. I mean, that's insanity. That's insanity. Could you imagine Dawn? Dawn from the beginning of the video, not discovering vaping and taking Chantix. Could you imagine Dawn having neuropsychiatric injuries just because she wanted to quit smoking? There's much easier ways to do this. Much, much easier ways to do this. So now we finally get down to this little area right here. Let me turn down the brightness on my pad. E-cigarettes and quitting. Still too bright. Maybe if I hold it at an angle. E-cigarettes and quitting. I'm just going to read this whole thing because he only really gave three paragraphs about e-cigarettes and quitting. Many adults who smoke are interested in using e-cigarettes to quit cigarettes. Yeah. Research is uncertain on whether e-cigarettes in general increase smoking cessation. Research... If the research is so uncertain i mean if the research is so uncertain why do i have right here a randomized three-year trial of e-cigarettes versus nicotine replacement therapy done by the new england journal of medicine saying that e-cigarettes are more than twice as effective at getting someone to quit tobacco than any nrt currently available on the market. Is this the uncertain research, Jerome, that you're talking about? Because I, I, I'm assuming you've seen this. I'm I mean, I'm assuming you've seen this. I know that I've personally tweeted it at Dr. Jerome Adams, which again, I have a lot of respect for Jerome Adams, the same way I have a lot of respect for Scott Gottlieb. I've just become, there's, there's three people in vaping, tobacco control, this whole thing that I've become obsessed with. One of them is Jerome Adams. I'm just obsessed with the guy. Scott Gottlieb, been obsessed with him for a while. I'm dying to hear his hot take on this, as well as the Secretary Azar announcement, which we'll get to in one second. And Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller. Ah, Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller. I'm gonna bring him up in just a second too. Just a second too. So let's go back to what he has to say about vaping. Research is uncertain, yeah, on whether e-cigarettes in general increase smoking cessation. Some research suggests that using e-cigarettes containing nicotine is associated with greater smoking cessation than e-cigarettes that don't contain nicotine. Well, no shit. That was a useless sentence. Completely useless sentence. Like, incredibly useless sentence. 
That's, of course, of course, if it has nicotine, it's going to help. That's why, that's why, that's why nicotine gum has nicotine in it. And you're not just chewing dentine when you want to quit smoking using an NRT. That's why the patch has nicotine in it. And you're not just putting a Band-Aid on your arm as a placebo. Of course, nicotine helps. That's like saying, well, research shows that uh, people get drunk when the beer has alcohol in it rather than when the beer has no alcohol in it. Useless statement. Sorry, I don't mean to be so hard on Jerome Adams. Um, Research suggests that more frequent use of e-cigarettes is associated with greater smoking cessation than less frequent use. Again... Can we get him on, you know, Jeopardy or something? I'll take uh, the com- the bleeding obvious for 200, Alex. The bleeding obvious for 200, Alex. E-cigarettes are not currently approved by the FDA as a quit smoking aid. And more research is needed as to whether e-cigarettes are effective for smoking cessation and to better understand the health effects of e-cigarettes. And look, I accept that that more research is needed. More research can only be a good thing, I believe, unless it's, I mean, unless it's Stanton Glantz. And then could you even call that research what Stanton Glantz does when he's not uh, um, touching his interns? This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. The use of any tobacco product, again, using that umbrella term of any tobacco product, including e-cigarettes, is not safe for youth, young adults, or pregnant women, as well as adults who do not currently use tobacco products. (laughs) That's so... That statement makes no sense, A, because young adults, e-cigarettes, if you're not a smoker, I guess, then no, but... The use of any tobacco product, including e-cigarettes, is not safe for youth, young adults, or pregnant women, as well as adults who do not currently use tobacco products. So he's basically saying, if you don't smoke, then don't smoke. And if you don't vape, then don't vape. If you smoke, then don't vape. That's basically what he's saying, because an e-cigarette technically is a tobacco product, and he's saying avoid all tobacco products. So basically, the Surgeon General does not have a tobacco harm reduction mindset or a harm reduction mindset at all. He wants you to quit completely and that's the, that's the only acceptable option. Quit completely. Com- quit completely or else. Quit completely or else. <sighs> In order for adult smokers to achieve any meaningful health benefits from e-cigarettes, they would need to fully switch to e-cigarettes and stop smoking cigarettes and other tobacco products completely. Yes, that's the, that's the statement I agree with in this entire piece. Apart from all the health benefits of quitting smoking, absolutely I agree with those. Should I read it again? In order for adult smokers to achieve any meaningful health benefits from e-cigarettes, they would need to fully switch to e-cigarettes and stop smoking cigarettes and other tobacco products completely. Among those who have switched completely, the ultimate goal, and this is not, this isn't science, this is just moral superiority, this is the Surgeon General just pushing his will, his desire on you. Among those who have switched completely, the ultimate goal should be also to stop using e-cigarettes completely and achieve the maximum health benefits. Sure, you know what? I'll even give him that. I'll agree with that. The goal should be to quit everything, right? In a perfect world, no one would smoke, no one would vape, no one would drink, no one would do drugs, no one would smoke weed, no one would do meth, no one would be addicted to opiates. Sure, perfect Nerf world, that's, the, that's what we all want, right? Everybody to be healthy, no vices whatsoever. Unfortunately, we live in reality where we know that that's not the most logical conclusion. We know that that's not what people are going to do. So yeah, sure, quitting everything would be great, but if you can give a smoker a less harmful option, ingrained smokers that want to continue smoking, 
If you can give them a less harmful option and reduce the harm in their life, Jerome Adams, why are you not suggesting that? How is harm reduction such a far off concept to the doctor of America? Even I understand harm reduction and I barely have a high school education. Barely have a high school education. Yeah, that sounds like a boring world, Shadow Cub. Hell yeah, that sounds like a boring world. That sounds like the most boring world. In that world, we wouldn't have vaping, we wouldn't have cigars, we wouldn't have beer, we wouldn't have anything fun. Adults like vices, you know? We, we live in, in a godless world full of pain and any, any chance that we have to give ourselves a little bit of happiness or a little bit of joy or a little bit of comfort or a little bit of relaxation should be welcomed with open arms. And I wanna drink beer and I wanna vape. So in the description to this video, I'm gonna put a link, that's the end of it, by the way. Um, the, he goes on to talk about uh, taking action. And these are his action items. Let me rattle these off real quickly. Raising the price of cigarettes, definitely. Just make, just make people spend more money for cigarettes. Implementing hard-hitting mass media campaigns, such as the CDC's uh, Tips from Former Smokers campaign. Yeah, sure, absolutely, why not, absolutely. <clears throat> Implementing smoke-free policies in workplaces, restaurants, and bars. Yeah, I mean, that's, no, I don't agree with that. I don't think that should happen. I don't think there should be any legislation that says that that this restaurant can't allow smokers. If that restaurant says we want to allow smokers here, they should be allowed to allow smokers in their establishment. If I'm in a casino and they allow smoking, and then there's casinos that don't allow smoking, fine. I'm going to pick the one that allows smoking. I don't think the government should legislate what a private business can do inside their private bit legal things inside their private business smoking is a legal act you can legally buy cigarettes and if a bar wants to allow smoking they should be able to allow smoking hi welcome to the free market implementing smoke free policies sure requiring pictorial health warnings on cigarette packaging i've talked about this in the past i don't really feel like that really works because you just end up looking past the graphic warnings. At first you go, ah, look at that mouth. Ugh, gross. Cancer and rotten teeth, that's disgusting. The second time you see it, it's a little less disgusting. Third, fourth, fifth, eighth, twelfth, twentieth, hundredth time you see it, you don't even really see it. You don't even really look at it. This is the one thing that he says that confuses the hell out of me, not confuses the hell out of me, confuses me and also makes me wanna put on my tinfoil hat. And really, I should have like a standby tinfoil hat to put on. I'm gonna go make a tinfoil hat real fast. happening oh it's happening is this a big enough piece <sighs> maintaining fully funded statewide tobacco control programs and at first you kind of go oh sure like yeah Tobacco control programs. Sure, tobacco control is a thing. It needs to be a thing. Sure. Maintaining fully funded, fully funded statewide tobacco control programs. So state tobacco control programs are funded by the master settlement agreement. Maintaining fully funded statewide tobacco control programs. Fully funded statewide tobacco control programs. 
States tobacco control programs are funded by the master settlement agreement. The master settlement agreement payments are based on tobacco sales in the state. The more, the more the state sells, the more money they get from the agreement. So in order to control the tobacco, they need to sell more tobacco in order to get the money to control the tobacco. They need to sell more tobacco in order to get the money to control the tobacco. They need to sell more tobacco in order to get the money to control the tobacco. They need to sell more tobacco. That could go on forever and ever. That seems really... The only way that you can have fully funded statewide tobacco control is if you're selling a lot of cigarettes. Otherwise, you're not going to have money for your tobacco control programs because the tobacco control programs, as I said, are funded by the master settlement agreement. Is Jerome Adams aware of this? Of the master settlement? I mean, he has to be, right? The master settlement agreement. <sighs> Just feels a little like that, that's just a weird sentence to me. Sorry, that's just, just a weird sentence to me. So he's taking action. Support for quitting, phone numbers for you to call. Here's my advice if you wanna quit smoking. As I said before, get on Yelp. <laughs> get on Yelp, find your nearest vape shop, go there and ask them about a product. And, and, and you could possibly accidentally quit smoking. All right, so we're done talking about Jerome Adams. I don't think I'm gonna to touch on Secretary Azar because we're already at 521 and we have a lot to cover in this vlog, including a mountain of mail, including a retro vaping, including a liquid tasting, and I'm gonna do some super chats right now. So here's what I would suggest. Follow the links in the description, read this thing, get on Twitter, tweet at Jerome Adams. And the thing is, just be polite, be personable. Jerome Adams, like I've said before on Twitter, he sometimes seems like a little scared animal. I said this on Tuesday, bro, Tuesday, not too long ago. But Jerome Adams, look, I get it. I'm a very sensitive creature. Jerome Adams, I get the feeling, is a very sensitive creature. And he will just cower into a corner and just close his eyes and stick his head in the sand as soon as you start like trying to uh, you know, have a debate with him. You kind of have to like, no, 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 come on, come here. Come here. We're just talking, buddy. We're just talking. Come here. So be polite and just be respectful. Tell your story. I think that's one of the most powerful things you can do is just tell your story. And I think Jerome Adams seems like the guy that if he got enough tweets of enough stories of enough people that quit smoking with far less harmful vapor products, it could start to open him up to the idea of tobacco harm reduction. And if we can get this idea of tobacco harm reduction through to people like Jerome Adams, to people like Scott Gottlieb, although he does get it, to people like Jerome Adams, to people like Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, Matt Myers, if we can get the idea of harm reduction through to them, the fact that this will help millions and millions and millions of people get away from combustion, which is the enemy. And you're going to see some people, well, really only one person, Stanton Glantz, saying things like, oh, combustion isn't as critical as we thought it was. <laughs> Stop it. Combustion is the enemy, Stanton Glantz, and you know it. Downplaying combustible tobacco cigarettes is unethical. I mean, as a doctor, as a researcher, as a professor, Stanton Glantz, that's insane to me that you would downplay combustion in any capacity, in any capacity. All right. Well, oh, I'm still wearing my tinfoil hat. All right, I'm gonna take this off for now. We might come back to, <laughs> I might need this. I'm gonna keep that tinfoil hat around. I'm gonna keep, that made my head sweat. No wonder conspiracy theorists are always angry. Their heads are sweating from all the tinfoil hats they wear. <sighs> anyway, so that was some news and advocacy. I'm also going to put a link in the description. So I, I, I might talk about this on Tuesday, bro. Tuesday a little bit more. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. But Secretary Azar, let me just read you this big headline. I believe they talked about it last night on uh, the That's What She Said program, although I didn't get to watch it. It says, Secretary Azar promises a streamlined PMTA approval for small vape businesses. 
this is kind of a huge thing that literally nobody but Vaping360 is reporting on. I can't find any information anywhere. All I can find is a letter that Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller, Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller wrote to the FDA requesting this. Tom Miller is way ahead of us. He was, he was on board with PMTA reform before we were on board with PMTA reform. And he's written a letter to the FDA asking for PMTA reform, talking about small business and the exorbitant cost and time that goes into these PMTAs. I haven't seen anything else other than vaping360.com. And it's not that I don't trust vaping360.com. I just, I don't, I want, I want to see where else it is. He did it on a, on a radio show. We'll talk about this on Tuesday. We'll talk about this next Tuesday. We'll talk about Secretary Azar, okay? Sounds like a deal. I don't want to spend more than one full hour doing news and advocacy because we do actually have some pretty fun stuff to get to. Now that we're through the boring stuff of news and advocacy, um, I didn't even really get a chance to talk about what I've been vaping, so... Let's do that now. Here's a second of the beer bumper to kind of mark that. Okay, let's real quickly just talk about a few things that I've been vaping and it hasn't been much. Like I showed you, the top side light has been one of my my jams. I just love using this. I find it real versatile. I've been using that Inakin uh, Chroma, not Chroma, Proton Mini a lot, like too much. Really like this Ajax tank. That angry mesh in there Good, good stuff. Um, this is kind of one of my end game setups. This is the uh, this is the uh, Aspen Modco Monarch. This one is named Tropicana Dual Parallel Twenty Seven Hundred. You see what's on top right there? What is that? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell ya. That's a recoil. That's a naked recoil. So, shh. We got something planned. I'm really excited about it. Rocking this naked recoil. I just got it in the mail today from my my boy, Dwayne Omboyak, Omboyosi, pony on acid on the inside. This is an end game setup for me. A dual parallel with my favorite dripper of all time. What I believe to be one of the greatest drippers, if not the greatest dripper on the market that has ever been released on the market. Okay. Maybe I'm getting a little exaggerated because it's my own product, but damn it, I love the OG recoil. There's just not better airflow on the market. Try as you might. OG recoil, Cloudsbro Clouds Cap is just my ideal, perfect, flawless, flavorful, flavorful airflow. I just remember when uh, Vape and Fagan, and I'm, I'm not talking shit on Vape and Fagan. I love you, Fagan. I, I love you. I love the Vape team. I love you guys. I especially love Brian. Uh, he's just my favorite of the Vape team, if I had to choose. Mike's a close second, you know, bro. But Brian, he, he's just been there for me. He reached out to me when I was having a really hard time, and he's just been a bro, and I really appreciate Brian. But Fagan did a review for the original Recoil, and he, he did that thing where it's like, Oh, well, if you purge, it's going to blow in your face like this. And you're like, nah, and like got all like, weird and exaggerated with it. And I was like, all right, well, come on, bro. You're not going to do that. Who's going to do that? Nobody's going to do that. Who purges anymore anyway? I purge a little bit. Good, good shit. Um, another thing that I've been using... Besides my Grim kit, you know, and it's whatever with Hell Vape. I'm not, in, I'm not a big fan of Hell Vape at this particular time and place, but having a, a Grim kit, a product that I designed, that I released with a Paca custom engraved panels on it. It's this is just my most prized possession on my desk. I just love the crap out of it. I vape it constantly. This is the mouth to lung coil head. I have six milligram Java granola bar in here, which is awesome. Completely awesome. You purge, people purge still. Beecher purges? You're not a purger. 
I just don't purge anymore. That's what we used to call it, purging. And this is a dumb setup that I've been keeping going for like two weeks now. And it's last, the last vlog I did, the retro vaping was that Limitless Modco RDTA. Sick as tits. It's that Limitless Modco RDTA. I just like the liquid I have in here. It's Benthol from Rescued. And I just like vaping it. So I've just kind of left this set up on my Hexome. That's some menthol. I forgot how much I love menthol, man. Me and Ruby Rue have been talking about menthol on the podcast, and I have just fallen in love with menthol again. I like that that cooling sensation. Man, it's good. For adult smokers only, just want to remind YouTube that this stream is for adults only. If you're not an adult, get the fuck out of here. Here's how we get the kids out of here. There's no Santa Claus. There's no Santa Claus. Well, you know what? That guy is just a guy in a suit. Purging is a waste of juice. I definitely agree with that. So that's really more or less what I've been vaping. Nothing real super exciting. Just some stuff. Just some stuff to keep me off of cigarettes. Really, my shining thing has been my Monarch with my recoil. I just... Dual parallel, bro. Dual parallel. It's how I live. And it is good. So what I need to do right now, we're not going to have enough time to do everything I want to in this vlog, are we, man? We got an hour. I'm going to make the best of this time. I'm going to try to go as fast as I possibly can. I have a bunch of mail. We're going to open some mail. I have some mail from Rescued back here for sure. I've seen it. I have some mail back here. We're going to, we're going to, let's do, uh, uh, vape mail time. I mean, kind of an excessive amount of mail. Oh, fuck me running. Kind of an excessive amount of mail. But look, we're going to get through it. I got an apple orchard, uh, crispy apple flavored garbage bag still. I believe from Anthony Ramella, he sent these to me. Still got them. Still got them, bro. Still got them. So the first thing I'm going to open up. Yeah, this is from Rescued. I just, I, I like this company. Um, and I guess in the interest of full disclosure, Rescued E-Liquid is a patron of mine. So they do pay me money, but this is not, this is by no means a paid, re, paid video or paid sponsorship or anything like that. It's kind of, that's a really weird line to walk that I never really thought about before. I do have some vendors that are patrons that pay me like 10, 20 bucks a month on Patreon, but they're also vendors. And so if I talk about their stuff, I feel like I have to mention that they're at least a patron. You know, they're not paying me to say this, but they are kind of paying me to say this. I don't know. So it's, it's a weird thing. Oh, happy gotcha day, Nico. Love Vulcan, Vels, Vengeance, Vendetta, and Ty Voli. Yeah. Gotcha Day. Nico's Gotcha Day was uh, not too long ago. Not too long ago is when uh, Nico came into Casey Pickle's life and shortly after that, my life. Hey, Nick, what's going on, man? We hope you're feeling better, better and a little more lifted. I'm going to try to sneak a getting to know Grim Green in here as well and do a little updates and I'm going to talk, uh, talk about some records. If not, well, go to the picture on the page on Rescued Facebook and look at some pups. <laughs> Here's a box of things for you and Casey. Two bottles, three and six of Micah. Yes. Not yet released to the public. A new shirts, an apocalypse 25. What? An apocalypse 25 millimeter RDA. Green splatter. What? Oh, that's so cool. You know, I still geek out and get stoked about new vape stuff. I've never had an apocalypse 25. Look at that honking airflow hole. Look at that other honking ass airflow hole. That's cool, man. Pre-built, pre-wicked, good lord. Well, if I wasn't, we're gonna do a random liquid tasting, but it's gonna be out of a pod. But don't worry, I have a plan. Don't worry, I have a plan. Well, thank you. I mean, rescued, you didn't have to, but you did, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, also, 
Uh, those bottles that have not been released yet. Oh, I don't know if I can talk about the bottles that not have released yet. Let me talk about this. Uh, Rescued is doing this program. They're, they're, they're doing some new liquids called Pack Leader. Pack Leader. And it's liquids that are named after the dogs of like industry people. And I think if this is to be believed, they're going to do one for my schnauzer, for our schnauzer, Nico. And I'm really, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I, I, heard, I saw this in DM. Casey told me about this and I was just blown away. I'm like, that's amazing. Like, thank you so much. I love dogs. I love rescue dogs. I love what rescued e-liquid does with rescuing dogs and naming liquids after dogs. And I just, I love it so much. I love it so much. Yeah. Pack leader. All right. We got Micah. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, and there's some CBD rescued CBD in here as well. Is this a, uh, like a disposable pen guy. Again, this stream is for, ad- <laughs> this stream is for adults only. You ordered some mica. Awesome. Sick boy. Na, 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 sick boy. Oh, hey, oh. oh yeah. Super chats. Let me do some super chats in the middle of this, but I got some, I got some, uh, oh, this is a CBD breath spray. I don't want it to interfere with my beer flavor. Hang on, I'm gonna have to save that CBD breath spray for after I consume this this beverage. An advocate for liberty says, I had a teal apocalypse like that green one, but traded it a while back. Was it a good RDA? I've, I've, I've only had one apocalypse RDA. It wasn't my favorite thing, but I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I look, here's the super chats. Let's do some super chats here. Let's do some super chats. Uh, let me move this around. Oh my gosh. I missed so many. Zachariah, damn the man, save the empire. <sighs> Truer words have never been spoken. Zachariah clouds bow reviews. Oh, I missed the notification. I'm here now. Yo, yo, I hope you like the meme I made for you on Insta. I don't remember that. I'm gonna go look at it, Clouds Bro Reviews. I'll def- I'll 100% check that out. Yo, yo, to ya. Dave Moore, I just ordered a Grim Kit and go Chiefs. Yeah, Kansas City. Go sports ball teams. I don't watch sports, but go Chiefs. I'll root for any team that anybody wants me to root for. When, when Casey needs me to root for the New York Jets, I will root for the New York Jets. When I was working at Starbucks and they needed me to root for the Seattle Seahawks, I will root for the Seattle Seahawks. I have no team affiliations and I will jump on any football bandwagon that anybody just asks me to. So if you need your te- team rooted for, that's a service I offer for free, okay? Zach, very gracious of you. Just popping to say, what's up? How you doing, Nick? Doing pretty well, Zach, a.k.a. Pizza Beard. Thanks for asking. Yo, yo, to you. Tyler, very gracious of you. I'll trust my local crackhead before I trust the CDC again. I, I, there's, yeah, I mean, 100%. Not sure I'd go so far as to trust a local crackhead, although thinking about it, yeah, I might, more than the CDC. Bourbon Clouds, cheers from the RDTA club. Do a retro vape of the Geek Vape Peerless RDTA if you can find one. I might still have a Peerless RDTA somewhere in my storage arsenal. Tyler, very gracious of you, accidentally quit chewing tobacco because of vaping. Yep, accidentally. It's something that people don't try to do. And maybe it's because, you know, people have this low expectation of vaping because of all of the, you know, uh, crazy vapor madness propaganda that's going on. But it is just that easy. You can accidentally quit smoking. You can accidentally quit chewing. That's incredible. I don't have enough time to vape in these vlogs. I never vape in these vlogs. Uh, Daniel, very gracious of you. You're doing God's work, my friend. Uh, watching you for years now, which is about as long as I've been vaping. Thanks for helping me quit uh, quit cigs. Your educated ways, hard work, and down-to-earth approach will never be silenced. That's my favorite super chat, Daniel. That's very gracious of you, and thank you. I mean, thank you. I'm not good at compliments. I'm not good. I'm not good with compliments. I'm just gonna say... Thank you. Thank you very much. It's only ever been my mission to get as many people as I can away from tobacco because it was so easy for me and I just 
I just want that for everybody. And this is something I've said a lot is everybody deserves to quit smoking the way that we quit smoking. You know, everybody deserves that. Light bearer. Uh, We are in a time where vaping is being vilified like marijuana was in the 50s. Yeah, absolutely. I don't like the term marijuana because it's a little bit racist if you look into it. But yes, it is. It's reefer madness. It's the war on drugs all over again. And I like that now in 2020, we have people looking back and calling the failed war on drugs. That's what it's kind of become known as the failed war on drugs. It's going to be a failed war on drugs. It's a failed reefer madness. It's a failed war on vaping. At least it will be. Michelle Lynn, oh, very gracious. Went the extra mile on the, that's what she said, cold open last night. All right. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Okay, Rescued says yes. They're doing a uh, snickerdoodle custard that's going to be named Nico. I have some bottles of it right here. Maybe we'll do it next week for the random liquid tasting, although I don't know if I'll be able to keep it out of my hands for that long. I might just vape it. Uh, I might just vape it later tonight. I mean, I can't do it as a random liquid tasting because I have a plan for the random liquid tasting that I really, really want to do. But there's going to be a liquid. It's going to be called Nico. It's not anything that I make any sort of profit off of or money off of. This is strictly rescued, doing what rescued does. And that's helping dogs. And that's saving smokers. And that's slinging e-liquid. And damn it, I just love you guys. Thank you. Clouds Bro Clouds Reviews. Hopefully some unicorn ink goodies in the mail. Maybe. Hey, you never know. Speaking of mail, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. Can I take a real quick bio break? Just a real quick bio break. I'll be back as soon as I possibly can. Here's some hold music. Well, look at my office. Tell me what you see on the walls. you guys so much better so much better i know this is going to be a whole mess of liquid as well this is from the plume room the plume room and the plume room i believe has been around for quite a while quite a while the plume room yeah the the plume room established 2012 gourmet e-juice um here's where here we go where there's Hey, uh, what you don't enjoy, maybe the Patreon peeps might like. Let me know if we can ever help or support your efforts. You rock, stay green. Troop and Andrea from the Plume Room, they sent me, oh, that's so fucking nice, you guys. Sugar-free chewy caramels. Sugar-free. Oh, sugar-free. You know what that is? That's harm reduction right there. That's some harm reduction. There's a there's a beanie. There's a beanie. There's a beer? Okay. Coffee bender brown ale. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Ready? I'm going to get a Sharpie. Ah. I'm going to I'm going to get my Chinese Sharpie. You see this? Yep. Chinese Sharpie. I'm going to write plume on here. Just so that I remember for the future that when I drink that beer, it came from the plume room. And I got some liquids, you know? There's some liquids in here. Vape Happy. They do the 30 mil glass bottles. The plume room. Smooth and mild tobacco. 
Oh, interesting. Honey fig tobacco, candied Cavendish, honey, hun banana pudding, banana pudding, banana pudding. <laughs> I can't get this open fast enough. All right, I don't, find, I don't, can't find my knife anywhere. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Look, even though we can't vape this right now, let's give it a, just, just what? Let's just give it a quick little knuckle test. I'm fascinated by all things banana. Oh. Banana pudding. Awesome plume room. Awesome. Oh, and there's some some sugar-free Russell Stovers. You guys. That is fantastic. You know that I'm getting off sugar, which is a struggle and a half. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, plume room. That's very awesome of you. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what this could possibly be. I don't know. What, what are we doing on time? Oh, shit. We got, we got, we got to wrap this up, you guys. We're already running long. Here, we got some liquids here. We got some liquids from the VPR collection. Grapefruit, grapefruit ice, green apple, green apple ice, lychee, lychee ice, or is it lychee? Lychee or lychee? Let me know. Lychee, make, oh, peach, peach ice. Sick. Nick. Let's read this propaganda here. Send you a little something. Thank you for all you have done. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, that's very nice of you. These gifts are a small token. Of thank you so much. S squeezed. Squeezed liquid. Dina and Ron. Awesome. On behalf of all of us at Squeezed and Through the Fog, we sincerely hope you enjoy everything enclosed. Thank you so much, you guys. Joe, thank you. Let's see what Squeezed has here. Squeezed. Yeah, the peach, the peach ice, the grapefruit. I'm excited about this grapefruit. Ever since uh, Prickly Smooth, grapefruit. What great labels. Look at those labels. Look at those boxes. That's cool. That's a very cool, adulty looking branding. Although I believe it, it oh, it's lychee. Lychee, furry messiah, you say lychee? I've always thought it was lychee. I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> it's your first time in the live chat, lost child? Well, be lost no more. Welcome. Happy to have popped your cherry. <laughs> Welcome, lost child. Oh, here it is. Lychee. Lychee or lychee. I really like these bottles. I really like those. That's very cool. That's very slick. Awesome. Thank you. Look, we got random liquid tastings for days. I got liquid for my patrons now. That's fantastic. It's been a whole lot of liquid so far. And that and what's this? Oh, okay. I think this is something from a uh, one of my patron Yo Yo A Cool Kids Club members. What do we got here? Answer me. That is a note. I don't want to read this whole thing on the. Don't read on the vlog. Uh, I want nothing in return. Just a pure. Just a pure horror to coat something for you. Okay, I won't read this on the floor. I won't read this. I won't read this, Ashley. Ashley, Ashton. Ashton, your secret's safe with me. You don't want me to read it on the vlog? I won't read it on the vlog. I respect, I respect your wishes. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap and a half, dude. That is sick as mammaries that you, you can't appreciate the color but that is a powder coated blue recoil rebel 
Holy crap, that's rad. That is awesome. Holy crap, Ashton, thank you. Ooh, I wanna build it so bad. What is this? Oh, you powder coated a pod? I didn't, I didn't realize you could do that. You powder coated a pod too. So we got these naked rebels. We got these naked recoils and uh, <gasps> fuck, that's beautiful. That is just straight up pretty. Straight up original recipe recoil, blue powder coat. Now you can't appreciate the color. It's because I have a blue light behind my desk. You can't really see what's going on there, but it is a really, if I hold it back here, can you see the blue? <laughs> very blue, very slick. Thank you. Thank you, Ashton. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Completely awesome. I will read your note later, Ashton. Definitely. Definitely will read it later. Um, sure. This one. And then I got one here from, uh, from Sifu, who is definitely one of my patrons. One of my yo-yoys. Yo-yoy to ya, Sifu. Sifu mustache. I get, you know, it's funny. Whenever I say one of my patrons' names, I always in my head picture their little avatar. Like every time I'm, every time I think about like, you know, one of my patrons is named uh, Wisconsin Fog. Shout out to you, Wisconsin Fog. His avatar on Instagram is the uh, show me what you got. Oh, it's not back here anymore. The show me what you got head. And that cracks me up every single time. Oh, is this beer? If you are going to have one beer a week, this would be a good one to fit in. Craft beer and brewing best 19, 2019. Also top 25's IPA on the planet a few years ago. Wow. Okay. Dang. I just don't want to miss anything. I felt something else in here. Oh, yeah. This is Sifu's uh, DIY that was inspired by one of my flavors. I think it was anyway. Peach, he calls it Peach Among Worlds. Are you gonna be able to see that label? Sifu's DIY, Peach Among Worlds. That's hilarious. Happy Friday to you, Canthal Kid. Happy Friday to you. Yeah, Palmer's Powders. I just wanna make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, Palmer's Powders is uh, legit. I mean, did you see those recoils? Legit. That's where some of those naked recoils are gonna end up. I'm telling you, we got some awesome plans. Oh, Ghost in the Machine. Okay, first of all, A, that label, that beer label is just rocking. If it'll focus, look at that. That's awesome. Now, what I'm gonna do, where'd my, where'd my, of course I lost my Chinese Sharpie. Of course I lost my Chinese Sharpie. Maybe the lizard people took it. God, where's my Chinese Sharpie? Did the lizard people take it? Lost my Chinese Sharpie. I had to put on my tinfoil hat because I think the lizard people took it. All right. I'm just going to have to make an honest effort to remember... That ghost in the machine, here, I'm going to write it on here. Sifu with a, just a pen. Sifu, okay, that is labeled now. So in the future, see the ghost in the machine, remember that it's Sifu. Thank you, bro. 99% on Beer Advocate? Baller. Uh, roasting room. Roasting room? Roasting room. Is this coffee? Did I get coffee in the mail? Hell yeah, I did. Holy crap. Roasted in Seattle. Espresso. Vivace. Keep it in an airtight container. Who did this come from? It just says roasting room. Espresso Vivis. Vivace? I got coffee. I got I got e-liquid and coffee and beer in the mail this week. And something from China. 
that I don't necessarily want to open like right now just in the interest of time I would like to do a quick getting to know Grim Green and I would like to do a quick liquid tasting and I would like to get caught up on these super chats that's my plan for the rest of this vlog but thank you I wish there was a name attached to this <gasps> oh shit this isn't my mail I opened somebody else's mail what do I do is this illegal did I just commit a felony? Am I going to jail now? I just opened somebody else's mail. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. They put it in my box. They put it on my box. They put it in my box. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. This is for someone named Jesse. Jesse, look, I'm sorry. I'm putting your coffee back in here. I'm going to take this back to my mailbox and I'm going to get this coffee to you. I'm sorry. Holy crap. What? This was not for me. Shit. I really hope like the, the federal government isn't watching me right now. Oh, Grim Green opened someone else's mail. Swarm! Swarm! Yeah, this was not for me. This was in my mailbox. But it is not for me, and I didn't even think twice. It's like, oh, I get so much mail. Yeah, of course that's for me. Shit. I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm sorry. I will get this. This needs to get to Jesse. Jesse's probably sitting at home going, where the fuck is that coffee that I ordered from Seattle? From the roasting room. Honey, I'm sorry. We, I know we were supposed to have coffee this weekend. It was supposed to be here by Friday. And I promised you coffee. Now I don't have any coffee. I'm sorry, Jesse. Man. I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, what did I get from... This is what I'm... I got something from Kent. Let's do one, more, one last package here. I got something from Kent. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe that did that. I... I didn't even look. Oh, okay. The Axial Pro. I'm not sure if uh, everybody got to see my boy Dwayne, Omboy OC, reviewing the Axial Pro, but he did a great video for the Axial Pro. In fact, go over to Omboy OC's YouTube channel, find this video for the Axial Pro, watch it, enjoy it, and comment and say, Dwayne, please make more videos. I love the videos Dwayne makes, and I think he needs to make more videos. I think he's got a real, I know, QFBI, I, I know, it was my mailbox. That's the first mistake that, they, that my mailbox company has ever made, ever. Tell Dwayne that he needs to make more videos. Just get on his YouTube and comment on every one of his videos and be like, make more videos because his videos are hilarious i like them he's so entertaining and he just needs to make more youtube videos so that's gonna do it for vape mail yep that's it that's gonna do it for vape mail so what i would like to do right now wow what a great vape mail I don't have anything to set up from the vape mail and that's okay just in the interest of time you see because we do have some more things to get through real quick before we do the liquid tasting out of a pod because i know everyone's just chomping at the bit for me to vape out of a pod but i think this is actually going to be pretty cool i have some pony on acid and we i believe we're going to do uh just a real quick getting to know grim green let's just where is it gtkgg welcome to getting to know me nick Nick Green. Oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
So I want to reintroduce getting to know Grim Green into this vlog. I've been uh, I've been collecting records for a little while now. In fact, this Saturday, I think I'm going to go do some uh, retail therapy and go buy some records. But I, I've been getting into collecting records recently because I'm just an overall intense fan of music. Not even nearly on the level of my wife. My wife, Casey, loves music music on a different level than I've ever seen a human love music. Her entire life has been music, music, music. She loves it. She's obsessed with it. She works in the music industry. She went to the Berkeley College of Music. She's just all about music. And me being married to her with my love of music has really opened me to like all these different genres and, and, and you know, people. And, you know, I went and saw Bruno Mars recently which I have had no interest in ever seeing Bruno Mars. I could give two shits about Bruno Mars. I don't listen to Bruno Mars, but I went to Bruno Mars and it was an incredible show and I had so much fun and he is such an entertainer and it's just it's just awesome. And so I love music. And so I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about music and talking about some of the records that I've bought because your record collection is like, your your staple music like I want to get everything I love on vinyl and I've recently I mean when I say recently I mean like within the last two years I've really loved owning music again you know I'm a 90s kid I'm not a 90s kid I'm an 80s kid I'm not an 80s kid. I'm a 70s kid. Okay, I'm not a 70s kid. I'm actually an 80s kid. If that wasn't confusing, I don't know what would be. I'm an 80s kid and I grew up buying tapes and buy, and then buying CDs and I would own all my music. And, and now we're here in 2020 and everything's just streaming. Everything's temporary, you know? you don't. I don't own The Mandalorian. I can just stream it whenever I want from Disney+. Plus. I don't own my music on Spotify. I can just stream it whenever I want on Spotify. I miss owning music. I think that's important. I think when you really love music, you should want to own it. Like just have that piece of that music forever. And to me, I buy records that mean something to me. And every record on my shelf has a story and has a meaning behind it. And so the first one that I just grabbed off of here I'm going to talk about this record, Reroute to Remains from In Flames, 14 songs of conscious insanity. In Flames, easily one of my favorite bands of all time. I mean, of all time, of all time. I mean, if you want to go way back to their albums like Clayman, incredible. I mean, these incredible Swedish, they're from Sweden, and I have a Sweden tattoo on my throat. I, I love Sweden, and I love Swedish metal, and I love Swedish death metal. And In Flames is just one of those bands that the first moment that I heard them, I was like, fucking love this, you know? Love the crap out of this melodic Swedish death metal. It's just one of my favorite things. And they were this really high regarded Swedish death metal band. And I remember when this album came out in the United States, not this album in particular, but the album after this, In Flames, they did this interview that I just respected the fuck out of just respected the fuck out of because a lot of people were saying, oh, In Flames, you know, what happened? You used to be a Swedish death metal band. Now you're a little, you know, you're a little more new metal now and you're not as Swedish death metal. You're a little bit more new metal now. What's up with that? I love this album. I love the album after this where they do get a little new metal-y sounding but they like caught a bunch of shit from the metal community. And let me tell you, there's no more opinionated people that you'll find in the world than in the metal community. It's just a thing. And it's fine. I, I, it's, I'm fine with it. I don't gatekeep anything. You guys know that about me. Gates open, come on in. I don't care if you only like one Star Wars movie or you've never seen Star Wars or you, or you know who Darth Vader is and that's it, fine. That's cool. That's fine. If you listen to metal, whatever you listen to, that's fine. I don't care. Listen to whatever you want. You don't have to be, you don't have to know every song of every album and know all the members and know every lyric to be a fan of a band. 
liking things shouldn't be like this stressful. You can casually like things and that's fine. I love In Flames and I love this record. The Cloud Connected is my favorite track on this. And I bought this because when In Flames was approached about that question, like, well, what happened to you guys? You used to be so emo screamo. I'm so into emo screamo, dude. I mean, I'm not crazy into it. I know a few bands. It's cool. It's whatever. It's not for me. I'm glad. I'm just glad people enjoy it. You know, it's one of those things. It's like I said earlier, we live in a godless world full of pain and any little amounts of joy and happiness that you can bring to your life, bring it on. And when In Flames was approached about that, when, when they were accused of like, quote unquote, selling out and quote unquote, changing their style in order to become more popular, to like cash in on that new metal thing. In Flames basically just said, what the fuck is new metal? We just write metal. We're just writing music that we like. Sorry that you're pigeonholing us, but we're just continuing to write the music that we like and it's fucking awesome. And I was like, yeah, like stick to your guns, man. Just keep writing the music that you want to write. Keep Keep writing the songs that you want to write. Don't be bound by genres and don't be bound by some fucking non-contributing nothing who's accusing you of becoming a new metal band. There's no, there's no judgment like that in Sweden. In Sweden, they were talking about in Sweden, we just like good music. We don't label things as like, ooh, that's new metal. I would never listen to that. Or ooh, that's hardcore. I would never listen to that. They just like good music. And In Flames is huge in Sweden, enormous in Sweden. And they just like good music and they just write what they write. And so that's why I respect the crap. I respect the crap out of this band In Flames. And that's why I bought this album, Reroute to Remain. It's my favorite In Flames album. My favorite In Flames song is on this album, Cloud Connected. It's right here. Track five, side A, Cloud Connected. If you want some getting to know Grim Green homework, get on YouTube, open your mind a little bit, free of judgment. It's a little bit of a corny video. It is a little new metal-y. I don't care. It's badass. It's badass. Yes, Greg, music is the bookmark of life. And this is a huge bookmark for me. Humongous bookmark for me humongous bookmark for me. This was one of those albums that the cr critics didn't really like it. A lot of fans were really torn on Reroute to Remain. It's a little too melodic. It's a little too this. It's a little too that. Fuck all of you. It's, it's, it's perfect. It's in flames. It's the music that they want to be writing. And I just respect them so much for that. So if you want some homework, go, go check out this album, In Flames, Reroute to Remain, Listen to Cloud Connected. It's just one of my favorite songs of all time. I just love the shit out of it. I would listen to it. It's one of those songs that no matter when it comes on, I will listen to the whole thing. It's a song that I crave. It's a song that I think about. It's literally one of my favorite songs of all time. And I think about it and I go, I'd like to listen to Cloud Connected right now. I have a playlist on Spotify called Just My Favorite Shit Ever first track re, re, in flames cloud connected listen to it listen to it ginger stuck on ginger gojira oh we're gonna talk about gojira i have i have my favorite gojira album as well and gojira is another one of those bands you know that they get away with a lot of stuff you know they get away with a lot of stuff and they're just gojira they're just a french death metal band and they're like we just write fucking metal you know French, we got French metal. French metal. We're going to talk about Gojira. We're going to talk about, it's not just going to be metal. I've got a, a crazy wide genres of music in these records. And I want to tell the story behind a lot of these albums and what these albums mean to me and what they've done for me and just my favorite songs. And I'm just a huge, huge fan of music. So yeah, there you go. Getting to know Grim Green. Your homework is, as I said, right there, cloud connected. And plus, I mean, think about this. Vaping, clouds, cloud connected. We're all a little bit cloud connected. I mean, the parallels here are insane. 
They had no idea. In Flames is just like, this is a cool riff. And I'm like, yeah, that's cloud connected. We're connected by clouds. It really comes full circle, you guys. Really comes full circle. So that's In Flames. That's cloud connected. That's one of my just one of my favorite records uh, of all time, and I just love the crap out of it. So shout out to In Flames. If you find yourself at the last uh, at the end of a two hour Grim Green vlog, and and you see this, here's a shout out for you guys. I got to see In Flames two years ago at the San Diego House of Blues, and it just like it was the I'd never seen In Flames before, and it's like. If you've never seen one of your favorite bands before, they can come out on stage and he could have just farted into a microphone and I would have been like, yeah, in flames. Like, but they came out, they killed it. And I love them. I love in flames. And when I was in Sweden, I got to meet the drummer of in flames. I got to brew beer with the drummer of in flames. That was an insane moment for me. Just insane moment for me. Shout out to Matthias from Beyond Vape SE, although he does not with Beyond Vape SE anymore. Shout out to Matthias from Lundeberg Custom Tattoo Supplies out of Sweden. I love you, man. I miss you. I want to come back to Sweden and hang out with you and your family and 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 just do that. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Okay, so here we are. Let's do a very random liquid tasting. I have a liquid tasting all ready to go here. So let's get into it. This is a liquid that I got in New Zealand. Get excited. Dark Tranquility. I, I'm not a huge fan of Dark Tranquility. I'm familiar with some of their stuff. Familiar with some of their stuff. I've never really given it a listen though, but I will. I bet I will. In Flame supporting Avenge Sevenfold. So yeah, see that's one of those things like, I really don't like Avenge Sevenfold that much. And I really don't like the Disturbed that much. I really don't. I could care less about the Disturbed. But that's not the point. The point is that you like the Disturbed. And I want you to like the Disturbed free of judgment. Gates open, come on in. Gates open, come on in. Austrian Death Machine changed their name to Bushfires? No, they didn't. Australian Death Machine changed their name to Bushfires? Stop that. No, they didn't. You stop that. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Yeah, if you're here, hit that like button. I'd love for you to hit that like button. That's just my thing. What's up, SVA world? I see you there. Hey to ya. Sorry I won't make it to Vape Jam this year. Hope you're good, brother. Thank you for reaching out to me as well. So let's do a real quick, speaking of Swedish death metal, juice. <laughs> I've been becoming more and more and more and more and more of a convenience-based vapor. Vape and Mist, what are your thoughts on no FX? I I dig some no FX. Uh, punk and Drublick, probably one of the best punk albums just ever written ever. I love no FX. I'm not a huge fan. I don't know all of their shit, but I do know the Punk and Drublick album, and I love that album. And NoFX is one of those bands, like you can't really talk about punk rock without mentioning NoFX, you know? Pig Destroyer, I like some Pig Destroyer. I don't like all Pig Destroyer. It's the same thing with uh, Cattle Decapitation. I love a lot of Cattle Decapitation, but there's some Cattle Decapitation I just don't really care for. And that's fine, it's just not for me. You know, and it's one of those things like Cattle Decapitation, um, my, one of my only ever, one of my only friends ever in recent memory, like within the last six or seven years, besides Beecher, who's been like my friend that I can talk to metal about, is Jess Marie, DHD. It's one of the frequent topics of conversation. I mean, back and forth in the car from ECC to the squad house was just like cranked metal. <laughs> you know, Devin Townsend and In Flames and all. And so I thought for sure that Jess was gonna be into cattle decapitation. I'm like, oh, Jess. I'm sure she'll like this band. I'm sure she'll be into cattle decapitation, dude. It's cattle decapitation. Vegan death metal? How do you not love vegan death metal? How do you not love cattle decapitation? Turns out she doesn't like it. <laughs> and I tried to play it for her like on four different occasions. And every time she's like, no, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. Well, that's fine. 
More for me then, right? That's what I say. More for me. You don't like it? I don't care. That's fine. It's not for everybody. You know, it's cattle decapitation. Human newer. Listen to that album. The Cattle Decapitation has two pretty great albums. Humanure and uh, the monolith of, what's it called? The monolith of insanity. The monolith. Definitely check out Humanure, at least. Forced gender reassignment surgery. I got to see Cattle Decapitation, House of Blues, uh, House of Blues San Diego a few years ago. And uh, they're from San Diego. So there was a huge crowd there. It's like hometown crowd, you know. Everybody in San Diego knows of Cattle Decapitation. And they're just great. So let's get back on topic here. Last thing I want to do is taste some liquid. After this liquid tasting, we're going to do the rest of those super chats. This liquid is from uh, straight up from New Zealand, pre nicotined and it's called Naki Nekka. Naki Nekta. Naki Nekta. This liquid is called tri- Trippinon Mango, and it's a six milligram. I don't know if anybody here watched my New Zealand video, but if you haven't, I'd love for you to check it out. I had a lot of fun in New Zealand. And when I was in New Zealand at that vape show, in the video, I jump into a mobile vape shop. It's a vape shop that is literally like a food truck of vape shops. This is one of their liquids. I thought that was just one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen. And so what I'm going to be tasting the six milligram out of is a yearn. Nope, not urine. You well yearn pod. Refillable yearn pods have kind of become one of my new favorite things. I still don't think the yearn, I still, I'm not going to say this. I still feel like the Caliburn is the superior pod. I much prefer the Caliburn to the yearn but I still do really, really like the urine. And in my urine, I've been using three and six milligram, just really low nicotine pods, I find to be very satisfying and very helpful like throughout the day. I just really like them. So I have some six milligram tripping on mango. So if you go back and you watch that video from New Zealand, I just, there was a, there was a, an, a vape shop that was a mobile vape shop. And it used to be like this old timey ambulance that they retrofitted and converted into a rolling moving vape shop. And I was just blown away. I thought that was the coolest shit ever. Mobile vape shop. I want to do that in Los Angeles. Like if it wasn't California and they didn't hate vaping so much, I would invest all the money I have in my bank right now to opening up a mobile vape shop. Because then you can just run. <laughs> if, the, if, if you get busted, you just, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> just drive away. Anyway, so I'm going to fill up this, uh, this urine pod. Thankfully, this tip fits perfectly in here. When you're filling up a refillable urine pod, you just, you just got to go a little bit slow. There's a big coil head that kind of runs down the middle there. And you want to get... I do this, this pulsy technique. I just squeeze some in, let go, squeeze some in, let go, squeeze some in, let go, squeeze some in, squeeze some in, squeeze some in, squeeze some in, in, let go. End up with a little air bubble right there. Perfect little air bubble for this to go into. And now you try to cover up all of the airflow holes and give it some dry toots, what I call dry toots. You just For lack of a better term, you just kind of suck on it, okay? You put it in your mouth and you you suck on it and you like it. Suck on it enough to see some air bubbles coming out. Oh, there's some air bubbles happening. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let me do a knuckle test real quick, real, real quick, real quick on this mango. Oh, I've been looking for a six milligram for these pods, and I'm so glad. This is the this is one of the few six milligrams that I got in New Zealand, and I'm overjoyed right now to have it in this urine. So it just goes in. The urine doesn't really ever have any sort of like satisfying click or anything like that, which is kind of a bummer. And you can see these, oh no, you can't. These refillable urine pods are transparent 
all the way from top to bottom so you can see really how much liquid you have. You don't have to just look through that little oval right there. So here we go. Let's give Trippin' on Mango from straight from New Zealand, the mobile vape shop. Let's give it a try here. Not so bad. So far, so good. That's very nice. Uh, Icy Aged, listen, in any of my vlogs or any of my Tuesday Bro Tuesdays, you're more than welcome to make whatever clips you want and share them wherever you want. Just, you just give me some credit. <laughs> just give me the credit. Okay, it's not my favorite mango. It's a real nice mango flavor. It almost tastes like it has a weird, like a weird little spicy component to it. Like just a weird, kind of a weird spicy component to it. It's like, it's hard to explain. Okay, let me do that thing. I'm just gonna sit back for one hot, hot minute and just vape this for a second. So the first thing I'm gonna do is Turn off my audio. Don't be alarmed. It's about to go silent. good mango. It's it what I like about this mango is it's not too sweet and I'm comparing it directly to the V God Mango Bomb which I used to vape out of here at a 50 milligram. Part of my part of my self-care routine is less nicotine in my life. <laughs> Substantially less nicotine in my life. I noticed when I was using a lot of pods and 50 milligram salt nick, I would get antsy like a smoker like I was a smoker again and I'm like where's my fucking pod like give me the nicotine and I don't like that I, I don't like that and so I've been trying to reduce the nicotine in my life and having a little six milligram pod banger is fantastic it gives me a slight little little tiny little throat hit just enough to know that I'm inhaling something other than air which is part of the process it's part of the satisfaction of vaping in my opinion. The flavor itself, it's a mango. It tastes like a mango. Honestly, it tastes like a spicy mango and I can't think of any other way to say it. It's like it's like a mango, If it's like a fresh mango if you just put a little tapatio on there. Just a little spicy. Just a little bit of a spice on there. I And it's weird. It's like a spicy mango or you know you go you go to the store and you get that uh it's like red and it's a shaker and it's like spicy and you and you put it on watermelon or you put it on fruit. It's like that Mexican seasoning. Kind of like that. 
it's a mango, but it's not like a candied mango. It's very much like a mango, like a like a legitimate actual mangoy mango flavor with just this little bit of extra zhuzh on it. That's really the only way I can describe it. Tastes nice. The urine has pretty decent flavor, so I do feel like I'm getting like the overall flavor of this liquid. It's nice. I'm really excited about this. Mouth to lung is honestly a lot of what I've been like, I've been leaning, leaning into a lot of mouth to lung stuff. The Grim Kit, the Yearn, my K-Fun, a lot that Precisio even, I was, I'm going to clean it out today. A lot of mouth to lung, just a lot of mouth to lung. Uh, a vape level midnight. My wife switched to zero next. She said it wasn't that hard to do, at least for her. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm eventually going to make that switch. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to eventually make that switch to zero nicotine. In fact, some recently, some liquid vendors have hit me up about getting some of their liquid and I've been asking for zero Nick. Just, I'd like to get down to zero Nick because I don't know what it's like to not be beholden to something. I've been in, I've been dependent on nicotine basically since I was 13 years old. And I don't know what it's like to be able to go a whole day and just not do anything. Just not even think about it. I don't know what that's like. And so I'd like to experience that. So I'm trying trying, trying, trying. I'm going to get down to zero Nick. I'm still obviously going to vape. I'm going to review vape stuff because it's more than just the nicotine. It's it's the mouth to lung. And that's why I experimented with three milligram in a pod to see if I would overuse it, like trying to get my nicotine, but I didn't. I used it like a normal pod. I'm sitting out on the couch and I would just hit it like four or five times. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Like I feel good. That's, That's fine. Three milligram. I can do that. Pick it up for four or five times, set it down, take a break. Really making an honest effort to get my nicotine down. And it's not because Jerome Adams says I should, because damn it, we live in America. And if you want to vape 50 milligram, you should be able to vape 50 milligram. That's where I stand on the subject. This is the land of the free. This is liberty and justice for all. So now, yeah, the mango. Mango in the urine, I'm, I'm, I really like it. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really glad I set this up. And it is, it's so much more. Even that little motion of like inhaling, pulling it in, exhaling. When you're a smoker, that's just something that you desire. And it doesn't even... I mean, eventually when you can get your nicotine down, I don't think that's something I'm ever going to not desire, especially like in social situations, especially even chilling on my couch, especially if I go to like Las Vegas or something and I'm sitting at a blackjack table and I'm not doing this, it would just be too weird. And I would rather do this with zero milligram or three milligram than like 50. And that's just me. And if, and if someone is out there and I know a lot of my friends and a lot of people, they do the 50 milligram salts and they love it. And I'm, I'm awesome. Like do it, do whatever you need to do to not smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes. Plus who doesn't love doing that? Who doesn't love doing that? All right, cool, man. Well, we got some tripping on mango. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this vlog. I'll give you the official super chat bumper, and we're gonna get through the rest of these super chats. Thank you. I mean, exponentially. Thank you so much for coming out to the vlog tonight. Even though it's on a Friday night, you probably got better places to be, better people to be talking to. Let's do these super chats. Oh man. 
Okay, it turns out I can't do that. That's fine. Um, let's see. Where did I leave off with the super chats? I don't even remember. Rescued said you can tell everyone. Hopefully, I didn't get any Unicorn Ink goodies in the mail. Clouds Bro reviews could still be in my mailbox. I'll go check. Uh, Tyler, very gracious of you. What's up, Nick? Quick question. What's a good single battery DNA mod you'd recommend? Price doesn't matter. What's something nice for my Jenna GRTA GT4 GTA? Single battery DNA? Single battery DNA? I feel like the only single battery DNAs you're going to be able to find are going to be DNA 75s or 75Cs, which I don't have any. I am no help. Do you want your money back? Because I'm unable to answer this question. Let me get back to you, Tyler. Let me get back to you. In fact, in the chat, if anybody has any recommendations for Tyler about a single battery DNA mod, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. And I, and I, and I don't know. And I don't know. I'm sorry, Tyler. I'll give you a refund if you want a refund. <laughs> Mr. A, very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, bought a Grim Kit a couple days later. I was rewarded with an open slot in the Cool Kids Club, which I immediately snatched up. Loving the content. Send you a message there. Yo, yo. Yo, yo to you. Mr. A, freaking welcome. I'm sure I'll get to know you like I get to know all my patrons. I'll add you to the Instagram. We stream every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Looking forward to seeing you there, Mr. A. Uh, Jacob, yo, yo, I to ya. Looking at the Lemmy pick helps pass the bio break time. Oh yeah, Lemmy. Lemmy, I love that Lemmy here is uh, smoking a cigarette and he's throwing a deck of cards with the suicide girls on it. I saw that on the internet and I couldn't not buy it. I said, that belongs in my office, like 8,000%. Uh, this isn't a super chat, but Eli in the chat says, I work at a vape shop here in New Mexico. What do you think vape is going to look like in this next year? <sighs> I wish I could answer that. I really wish I could answer that, but I literally have no idea. Uh, speaking from the time machine on Sunday's episode of the Culture of Clouds podcast, this is something that we talked about, like what is vaping going to look like this year? And it's already a politicized issue, you know? They're not doing legislation. They're not doing things federally because it has become a politicized issue. Whoever is the next president is going to be in charge of that. So vote accordingly. I have no idea. I honestly don't think New Mexico, I don't see personally New Mexico. They've never been anti-vaping. They've never been anti-THR. I don't see New Mexico. I mean, New Mexico is a very, honestly, a very libertarian state. They had, uh, they had, uh, who Ron Johnson was their Senator for a, a, a number of years. And he, he did amazing things in New Mexico. He ran the state like a libertarian state and it was fantastic. We could all learn uh, from the way that Mex New Mexico is run. So I don't want to say that, that you're going to be safe in New Mexico, but I think you're going to be safer than, let's say, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, Washington, or California. The big Dem states, the big MSA states, you're going to be much better off than them, I think. Mm. Lost Vape Mirage. Lost Vape Mirage. The SQ Mono DNA5, DNA75C. There's some good answers. The Vicious Ant Duke 2. Those are all good answers. I completely forgot about all of those. I literally, when he asked me that question, I could not remember that Lost Vape was even a company, man. That's weird. Uh, Deaccelerate DX Cloud. Uh, would anyone with the health organizations that are pushing Chantix take it alongside someone willing to quit smoking to prove it's safe? I doubt it. I doubt it too. In fact, this brings up something my little, uh, the tweet that was on this stream, I meant to address it beforehand. I'm going to post a link in the description to that image. I don't know. Here, let's just show the image right now. Let's just address this real quickly. It's 634. Look, we're going a little bit long. So this, this tweet right here, monitoring and reviewing doesn't, so this is from um, the, the World Health Organization went completely off the rails and just put lie after lie after lie out there. I mean, 
bold face lies out there the World Health Organization did. And one of them was, are, are, is e-cigarettes is, is e worse than smoking, right? And their answer wasn't even a yes or no answer. It was, well, hmm, it depends on a lot of things, but we know for sure that they're not safe. I don't care if vaping is safe. I just care if vaping is safer than deadly, combustible, tobacco, cigarettes. Come on, World Health Organization. Come on. And so this tweet, I'm not familiar with this with this person, the AV, uh, AC Voda. Monitoring and reviewing doesn't seem to include fact-checking, as we have seen from the presentation their representatives gave in the Philippines. So everything you see on this tweet in the white area was from an official World Health Organization presentation in the Philippines. And can you see how many things are wrong with it? Oh, colors. Yeah, definitely. Colors are exclusively for only youths. Adults, we only see in black and white. You didn't know that? We only see in black and white. Use of children. So they actually, the World Health Organization, in their presentation, put a meme in their presentation. A goddamn meme off of the internet. That is a meme. That's not real. There is no my first vape. That is a meme that the World Health Organization thought was a real marketing thing, which shows me that not only do they not understand this industry or this technology, it also shows me that they're not even willing to learn. They're not even willing to dive a little deeper to fact check to see if this is real or fake and they put it up there and it's a goddamn meme. Cartoon characters, yep. Dora the Explorer, I love my Jewel e-cig. That's also a photoshopped meme. The World Health Organization, the fucking World Health Organization is using memes in their presentation to vilify and demonize vaping? Memes? That's insanity. Discredit the myth-making machine, and that includes not just the CDC, but the World Health Organization as well. That's insanity that they didn't even look slightly below the surface on those and just included them as if they were real things. And they're not. And that, to me, I mean, that completely discredits the World Health Organization completely. We're running too long here, but uh, I just had to address that. Just had to address that real quick. Uh, let's get through these super chats. There's a few left. Tenacious TX Vape Stan, very gracious of you. This has been great to listen to while getting ready for the vape stew. Everyone check out the vape stew. You know I love the vlog, Nick. Great show. I'll finish up later, buddy. Palmer's Powders for the win. Yes. Palmer's powders for the win. They're going to do some work for us on those naked recoils. And I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing with Palmer's powders and engraving. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be excellent. Yeah, exactly. CBD candy connoisseur. I'm surprised they didn't use the jewel spoon. Yeah, I'm surprised either. I know blood pressure, Cassandra, blood pressure. Let's check my heart rate real quick. Yep. I'm up here in the nineties already. Let's just take some deep breaths. Let's get my heart rate down. I feel like Stanley in the office when Michael comes near him and, and his thing starts beeping. All right, we're already down to 80. That's a good start. All right, big rig. Very gracious of you. Just ordered me a Grim Kit finally. Thank you so much. Big Rig, I really hope you enjoy the Grim Kit. I love mine. I use mine literally on the daily. It's my banger and I love it. I hope you love it too. And lastly, we have one last super chat. Very gracious of you. From possibly the greatest name I've ever seen on YouTube. Chunky Poo Slide. <laughs> 
Mother F and Chunky Poo Slide, welcome. Welcome to the vlog. Yeah, boy. Love you, Grim. I love you, Chunky Poo Slide. I love you. So that's it. Let's wrap this vlog up. Let me take a quick look. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Put my tinfoil hat back on. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. I think we're doing good. I might listen to some in flames tonight after I clean up my office. I would say, I would normally say, check out That's What She Said, but it's Friday and I forget that it's Friday. So I'm going to finish off this beer. I'm going to clean up my office. I'm going to say thank you guys so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. This has been a really fun vlog. You guys know I love the vlog. I have fallen in love with streaming. It's just my favorite freaking thing to do. One more super chat from Joseph. You should check out Hound of Hades. Hound of Hades? That sounds like a name. It sounds like a name I'd be into. That sounds like a band name I'd be into, Hound of Hades. I will definitely check that out. I will definitely check that out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're all good. Let me grab my beer. Let me grab my Aspen Mod Co. Monarch with my naked recoil. Oh, did you guys just want to see the cleanest RDA that exists on planet Earth? Look how clean that looks. Are you kidding me? That is clean and slick as fuck. So I got some Pony on Acid. I got some uh, Peach Among Worlds. I got some Rescued. I got some sugar-free candies. I got some beer. It's just been a great day. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm going to end this vlog now. Thank you. Oh, burp life. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching, you guys. And no matter, remember that no matter what any, any crooked politician tells you, no matter what Mike Bloomberg tells you, absolutely, we should all keep on vaping. Be excellent to each other, guys.